Hello friends, welcome back to this video on analog communication. In this video, I am going to talk about the demodulation of FM signal. So I hope you remember what was demodulation. Demodulation is the extraction of the message signal from the modulated signal. So now if I talk about the FM signal. So in FM signal, the message was there in the frequency of the carrier signal. So now I have to extract the message from the frequency component of the carrier signal. So this is demodulation in the case of FM modulated signal. So when I extract my message signal from the modulated signal it is called the demodulation. So now talking about the demodulation of FM waves. So the demodulation techniques are classified as phase discrimination method and frequency discrimination method. So the first classification is frequency discrimination method. Now the second classification would be phase discrimination method. Now if I talk about the frequency discrimination method, in frequency discrimination method we further have simple slope detection and balanced slope detection. So the first category is simple slope detection. The second category is balanced slope detection. So now if I talk about the phase discrimination method, here also we have three categories. The first type of detection method is Foster sealed detection. Second is ratio detector or ratio detection. And the third is phase lock loop or PLL. So now these are various types of FM demodulator. I can extract my message signal from the FM modulated signal with the help of these types of demodulators. So we are going to study each of them in detail. But in this video, I am going to tell you the generalized way to demodulate the FM. So what is happening in all of them? So now I should know that how these all de detection techniques are working. So now I will be giving you a generalized way by which all of them can detect the message signal from the FM modulated signal. So now if I talk about the FM demodulation. Now. I have the modulated signal so if I talk about the block diagram of the receiver of FM demodulator so at the input I will be having the modulated signal I used to represent the modulated signal with the help of MT so the modulated signal is fed to a differentiator so this is my differentiator now this differentiator is now connected to the envelope detector and I will get the message signal XT. So now you are confused that I am using envelope detector. Envelope detector is used to detect the changes in the amplitude. So here I am generating an amplitude modulated signal which is detected by the envelope detector. I hope you must know that in frequency modulation the amplitude is constant then why I am using this envelope detector here. As I said here I will be producing an AM modulated wave. So here this M AMT this was FM modulated signal but here I am producing AM modulated signal. So the AM modulated signal is detected using the envelope detector. We all know that we can easily detect the amplitude modulated signal with the help of envelope detector. So now the task is reduced and we need to convert the FM modulated signal to AM modulated signal. So now I hope you understood that we need to convert this FM signal into AM signal and we can easily detect it with the help of envelope detector. So now this differentiator is converting 
the FM signal into AM signal. So how we can design a differentiator? So how it is converting it? We'll see that. Mathematically, we'll see that. But first we need to design a differentiator. So the differentiator can be designed using a high pass filter. So I hope you remember how I can design a high pass filter. This is my capacitor and here I'll be connecting a resistor. So this is now a high pass filter. I hope you remember, I hope you have all studied about it. So now if I talk about the transfer function, the transfer function, I am representing it with H of F. So H of F is equal to 1 up J omega RC upon 1 plus J omega RC. So now how I can use this high pass filter as a differentiator? I said I have to design a differentiator and now I designed a high pass filter. So in this high, a high pass filter I can do some modifications and it will work like a differentiator. So what modifications I need to do? I need to choose RC to be very much less than 1. So when their product is very much less than 1. So now how this is changed? So it is J omega RC upon 1 plus. So I can neglect this term. So 1 plus 0 or I can this term is very less than 1. I can equate it to 0. So 1 plus 0 would be 1. So it is J omega RC only. And J omega RC is representing the differentiation. I hope you all know this in the frequency domain. J omega RC represents the differentiation. So now this is working as a differentiator. So at this point I can use a high pass filter. Now this is the very simple way to design it. But there is a problem. This high pass filter can be designed only at some particular frequency. We will discuss about the frequencies also in the simple slope and balanced slope detector in detail. But as of now, you should understand that we can easily design a differentiator with the help of this high pass filter. So now, we will see that how this FM signal is converted into AM signal with the help of this differentiator. So now if I talk about the FM signal, so MT is equal to AC cos omega CT plus phi T. So now where phi T is, I hope you remember it is KF integration of xt dt so xt is my message signal so this is my phi t and this is my modulated signal in fm now if i pass this signal through the differentiator what would happen so now if i am passing this through the differentiator it is differentiating with respect to time so now this ac cos will convert into minus sine so now it is ac sine I will be having same term. So it is omega c t plus phi t. Now if I need to convert this signal also. So now I will be multiplying it with the differentiation of this term. So if I have to find out differentiation of this full term. First I will be find out the differentiation of cos which was minus sine of sin theta. Now I will multiply it with the differentiation of theta. So here it was omega c t plus phi t. So now the dif differentiation of omega c t would be omega c and differentiation of phi t would be d phi t by d t. So now this minus sine can be represented as sine theta plus pi. So if I have to remove this minus sign, I can represent this signal as AC sine of omega C T plus phi T plus pi. So this is my new signal now. So now it is multiplied with omega C plus D phi T by DT. 
So now I should know what is d phi t by dt. So phi t is kf integration of xt. So this is my phi t. If I have to differentiate it, d phi t by dt would be equal to, so kf is the constant, it will remain same. And here this integration will be converted into d by dt of integration of xt dt. So now this differentiation and integration will cancel out and I am getting kf into xt. So I hope now you understood this differentiation of phi t is kf into xt. So now I will be putting the value of differentiation of phi t here and we will observe this signal. So now this is so I am denoting the differentiation here don't confuse it with the same modulated signal it's the differentiation here so I'll be repeating the same thing AC sine omega CT plus phi t plus pi now it is multiplied with omega C plus d phi by dt, d phi t by dt was kf into xt. So now this is the signal, differentiated signal. So now I need to see how this differentiated signal is equal to the amplitude modulated signal. So now I will be just rearranging this signal. So now d by dt of mt looks like so here I will be taking omega c common and I will be taking this bracket here. So now I will be denoting this first and after that I will be denoting this sign term. So ac omega c I just took the omega c common so here I am left out with 1 plus kf upon omega c xt into sin omega c t plus phi t plus pi. So now I hope you understood how I found out this. I didn't do anything. I just took this first and after that I took sine of theta. So now I took omega c also common. So now I just observe this signal. So here I have sine of something which is changing with respect to message signal. Now here I have AC omega C 1 plus some constant because omega C is a constant. We, ha we have a frequency of the carrier which is constant. So this is full term which is constant into XT. So I remind the modulated signal in the case of AM. How I used to denote it? AC 1 plus M of XT cos of omega C T. So this is my modulated signal in the case of AM. So now here I have 1 plus, so if I took KF upon omega C as M, so now this is changing with respect to signal. So here I can say amplitude is changing with respect to message signal. Here also I can say amplitude is changing with respect to message signal. So from here if I need to find out the amplitude, so amplitude so for this signal the amplitude is given by so ac omega c plus kf xt so this is my amplitude so amplitude is the function of message signal so now amplitude changes in accordance to the message signal and this is a dc term so this is dc term which will just shift the signal upside and downside. So here this is the amplitude modulation. So now from here I understood that the signal which we are getting is amplitude modulated signal. But you are confused that here we have sine. Sine is also considered, a, the cos is also a sinusoidal signal, sine is also a sinusoidal signal. There would be no problem because of this sine. There would be just a phase difference in between this and this term. So now here we have omega ct plus phi t plus phi but here we have just omega ct 
so now here we can see the frequency is also varying here the amplitude is varying and frequency is also varying so from that I got to know that the output signal this signal so I am talking about this signal this signal is having amplitude variation as well as phase or frequency variation so now if I draw it so this type of modulated signal I will be getting so when it is having high amplitude the frequency would be high now frequency is less so again at the high amplitude frequency would be high now this type of this is d by dt of mt so from here now you understood that I am getting amplitude modulated signal plus frequency modulated signal but at the envelope detector I am passing this signal now envelope detector has nothing to do with this frequency change it will reject this frequency it will just see the, the envelope of the signal so from envelope detector I can easily detect the envelope and the envelope is the message signal so envelope is giving me the information about so it is fed to the envelope detector which is giving me xt so this signal amplitude was changing according to xt and with the help of envelope detector I can find out the envelope which is the representation of xt only so this is how I can use the differentiator to convert the fm modulated signal into am modulated signal and with the help of envelope detector I can detect the input message signal so now I'll be talking about the frequency discriminator So in frequency discriminator the output frequency the output frequency varies with the input frequency deviation so if I talk about the ideal characteristics of the frequency discrimination method so it looks like this so ideal characteristics are always straight so this is FC fc minus delta f and this is fc plus delta f this is the ideal characteristics of frequency discriminator so now here you should understand that i am interested in the derivative of the phase so derivative d by dt of phi t will give me I have found out it the d by dt of phi t gives me kf into xt but if I am finding out d by dt of mt it is of no use so it's just the thing that from the derivation of modulated signal I am finding out the derivation of phi t and I know the differentiation of phi t differentiation of phi t is it will give me the frequency the differentiation of phase will give me frequency so this is how I will convert the, the phase into frequency and this is the frequency discrimination method so we can generate our signal directly from the phase or with the differentiation of the phase and from the differentiation of the phase I can convert it to the frequency so it is called the frequency discrimination method so now here the output frequency varies with the input frequency deviation input frequency deviation was occurring due to xt and output frequency variation is occurring so here d phi t by dt is output frequency variation it is giving me kf xt which is input frequency deviation xt is giving me the input frequency variation so in frequency discrimination method i hope you understood 
from phase i am converting it into the frequency with the help of differentiator so now i hope you understood how the fm demodulation is working so here i'll be stopping my discussion in my next video i'll be talking about the limitation of this method so stay tuned for that video that is also going to be an interesting video so now i'll be stopping here i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe to the channel and push the like button thank you